haven't showered in three days. I haven't slept too well either. I don't know what my hair looks like. I got bed head, hat head, all types of hair problems. There's only one thing I gotta say to that. You say it with me. Fisherman's life. But anyway, I gotta get down there and start fishing because it's low tide right now. Tide is picking up soon. Swell is picking up also. So I probably got like a two or three hour window to fish. I've been trying to get this catch and cook lingcod done for a while. But if I don't catch the lingcod, that doesn't mean I won't cook whatever I do catch. So I'm using a size four and a half inch swim bait with a four out hook, one and a quarter ounce of weight. I gotta get down there right now because the tide's rising. I don't have too much time to film. I just gotta take advantage of the fishing while I can. So let's get down there. Another day, another cliff to climb. All for a video and all for a fish. It's totally worth it to me though. Loving my life right now, living it to the fullest. I'm trying to get to that big rock out there. So I'll catch you out there in a minute. That was a bite, I just got bit. I'm just bringing it in slowly until I feel it tap the bottom. Now I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag it on the bottom because that's where all the jagged rocks are. See all these rocks like this? See this cliff here? That's how the bottom of the ocean floor is right now. It's all rocks covered in seaweed and kelp. There's some areas where it's fine, they'll just slide over, but other areas, it's really jagged and it'll get stuck in the cracks. So you just wanna cast it out, let it tap the bottom, and then swim it up, 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 above all the rocks, and let it sink down again just to mimic an injured fish. Oh, hey, I got a fish. Oh, I had a fish. It bit two times right here, right in front of me. I gotta set the hook hard. Really drive that hook into its mouth. Oh, God. I'm not trying to get smoked by that wave. I just got bit again. I know you saw that. I'm pretty sure you saw that. I mean, it is a possibility that it could be a seaweed and it's moving in the water like that and it just mim mimics a bite. But I don't think so. I really think it's a fish. And it's giving me hope. All I need is some hope. Oh my God, look at these swells coming in. I probably have like another hour before the tide comes up, before I'm stuck on this rock. So I better catch fish soon. There he is, there he is. It's a link caught. I knew there was a fish there. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm talking about. This is a lingcod. You see how blue it is. Let's get a quick measurement on it. But I knew there was something biting right in front. So instead of casting out far, I just dropped the swim bait, let it swim up and down, and he took it. So these need to be 22 inches. And this one is Oh, he's pretty close. 19 inches. Close, but no cigar. Put him back in this hole that he came from. I don't know if he's guarding some eggs or anything. I think it's spawning season, so. There he goes, swims right back to the bottom as fast as he can. 